Loki Episode 5 brought with it tons of new Easter eggs and comic book references. How many were you able to spot? Here's the full list, the episode title. The title of Loki Episode 5 is Journey into Mystery. Journey into Mystery 385 is also the name of the comic book which has the honor of recording Loki the trickster god's first ever appearance in Marvel Comics. Another comic book issue titled Journey into Mystery also exists within the pages of Marvel Comics. Written by Karen Gillen, Loki has been transformed into a kid while the Avengers are dealing with the events of fear itself. So, without further ado let us jump into the video. But before going further just like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to not miss out on any of our videos. Aliath The name Aliath might ring a bell in the minds of hardcore comic books fans. For those who didn't hear it ringing, Aliath is the first ever entity who broke out of the constraints of time. He is seen in a gaseous form and is said to have an empire bigger than Kang's. The show presented him as a smoke serpent, probably a nod to the journey into mystery title, which is itself a reference to the comic book arc. The arc involved Thor tracking down Loki, who was prophesized to help him stop the serpent from destroying the world. The Thanos Copter Shown early on in the episode, the Thanos Copter was the Mad Titan's answer to the Batman's Batplane. Back in the old days, Marvel writers wanted Thanos to have his own ride, and the best they could come up with this was a personal helicopter, which went on to become a running gag. Destroyed Stark Tower The city of New York, even after the apocalypse, is looks incomplete without the signature Stark Tower. The iconic Marvel building could be seen in the background in one of the scenes in the episode. It's a blink and you miss it appearance. Shield Helicarrier A down shield helicarrier could be seen in the background when Alias shows up to confront Sylvie. Given the fact that the helicarrier is built to stay up in the air for an indefinite amount of time, a helicarrier turned into debris is worrisome. Also, is there a Nick Fury variant in the end of time timeline? Frog Thor Frog Thor makes an appearance in the show when Loki is entering the variant Loki's underground lair. The jar he is trapped in is Mark T-365, which coincides with the name of the comic book issue, Thor number 365, where Frog Thor made his Marvel Comics debut. Stanley Mural in the TVI when Sylvie is coercing Renslayer to give her all the files on the TVI, we can see a Stanley mural in the background of the room. The mural is also seen before in earlier episodes. Polybius Video Game The legendary but fictitious Polybius video game could be seen in the background in the Loki's underground lair. The game inspired many real-world commercial arcade games in the 1980s. A conspiracy theory states the Polybius video game was a Cersei government mind control project based out of Portland. Oregon in 1981. Old Loki's survival story. An Infinity War fan theory explained how Loki would have survived Thanos in Infinity War. Old Loki's tale confirms it was indeed possible if done that way. Reference to all Pixar movies, the car Mobius drives has a hula dancer on the dashboard. The same hula dancer is seen in WandaVision as well as Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Phil Coulson had one, implying his time in Project Tahiti. It is also a nod to the Pizza Planet truck found in all Pixar movies as well as Lightning McQueen of Cars, a movie character Owen Wilson voiced. Us Eldridge Us Eldridge is the topic of many conspiracy theories regarding the U.S. Navy's infamous Philadelphia experiment. Loki shows that the Navy ship landed in the end of time and was devoured by Aliath. First E.B. Cooper and now this, Ronan the Accuser's ship from Guardians of the Galaxy. As Loki, Sylvie, Mobius, Kid Loki, and Old Loki look at Aliath from the hilltop. The Dark Aster, Ronan's formidable Kree warship that almost destroyed Xandar in GOTG Volume 1, could be seen in the distance amongst the wreckage. 